Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Cancers their monthly love read. I guess it's going to be for the remainder of March 2024. Um, but whenever you see this video is when you're meant to view it. So take it as it resonates. Um, readings in tarot are pretty much timeless. It's more like when you run across it. Um, oh, we got the Two of Pentacles and the Chariot for you. Um, we're going to get a, a what do you need to know about love reading. I'm going to be using the Love and Romance Journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot as well as the Soul Reflections Love Oracle card, the Hermit Tarot Channeled Love Messages, and then Love Vibe cards from King of Aloha. So we're going to get right into it. Um, this is a general read, guys. Oh, I feel like all those cards wanted to come out, so I'm going to take them all, but I was taking five from everybody else. This is a general read, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Um, if you feel like this is not hitting the mark, not making a lot of sense, you can check your moon and your rising signs. If you're unsure of what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below uh, to get to my personal page. Oh, nope. There's a link to, in the description box below to get you to a website to get your birth chart information. But there's also a link on the website to get to my personal page if you're interested in a personal read. Pretty inexpensive. But um, you have a lot going on. You have a lot going on. I feel like, Cancers, you are definitely going to have a choice to make. You have... Um, two suitors uh, here for sure. I do feel like one is going to end up in a true love soulmate marriage kind of energy, like a best friend, true love soulmate marriage energy. Um, two of Cups is definitely a solid connection and love, but we have two very different energies showing up and two cards of choice. Um, so let's get into your read. I feel like I might have missed something in the beginning, but uh, take what resonates, leaves the rest, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I do see you very much in contemplation. Um, we have the Two of Wands, and then we have the Two of Pentacles. So they're, they're different meanings. The Two of Wands is like picking a path, right? Picking a choice, thinking about traveling or moving forward in a situation. It does not have to be travel, but this could be travel as well. So travel might be just generally involved in your love situation. Um, this might be a person that lives at a distance from you, um, and that might be part of your contemplation, uh, or one of the people, because I feel like you have two people in your energy, and I feel like you are going to be kind of figuring things out between these two people in your energy, uh, with this two of pentacles, it's kind of like a juggling act, like what do you need to do, um, how do you keep things balanced, how are you going to pick you're going to pick because um, you have the chariot here. So this is like rapid forward movement. But if you see on the chariot, there's a, a light horse and a dark horse. And uh, a path will be set and, and you will take off on that path. And I feel like you have a choice to be made, a decision to be made. Because we also move from the two of wands to the three of wands. So that's kind of like this energy of uh, picking a path, right? And then waiting for that shift to come in or, or accepting a decision and then that you're waiting for this thing to fall into place to take action to move forward um but we have forward movement so i feel like you are going to have a solid choice between two different people could be an air sign could be an earth sign doesn't have to be their sun sign it could be their moon or rising sign lots of different signs in their charts but i feel like you're going to have a choice between two um, very strong um, options and male or female is irrelevant uh, so if you're male watching this it doesn't matter of the gender of these cards it's more of the characteristics so you have the the king of swords so you have someone who's going to be a great communicator someone who's quite intelligent someone who I feel like you will enjoy their conversation and their company um, intellectual stimulating, like intellectually stimulating, you'll be able to have great conversations, maybe debates. And then you will have a king of pentacles energy with someone who is a provider, a caretaker, someone who wants to do for you financially, emotionally, um, they might want to give you gifts. I feel like this person wants to support you, but, um, you know, very grounded, committed, loyal energy. So I feel like you have two quite good choices there's nothing negative in these cards um you also have two two and two so those could be um like seeing twos could be pretty significant for you um and then we also have the knight of cups so this person or people are going to come in with love offers um they're going to want to offer you roses come in on a white horse to save the day uh, provide you with a picnic some bottle of wine a love letter this person's going to be throwing out lots of love gestures or these people but i do feel like it's a true love situation i do feel like it's going to be successful you just have a choice to make 
I don't know what you're going to do. You can get with this or you can get with that. It's going to be up to you, right? Um, free will. So you have free will. I guess it's nice to have choices, right? We have transformation, magnetic connection, and longing. So transformation to me. Oh, look at this. Then the divine freaking masculine on the bottom of the deck. So again, soulmate, counterpart, counterpart. Yeah, counterpart. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a goofball. Um, so transformation to me is like death and rebirth. This person or you could potentially be, uh, this could be a returning situation. Does it have to be someone returning? No. Uh, you could be going through a transformation. This person could be going through a transformation from something that has ended previously um, to like this beautiful butterfly of a situation, right? So it could have been a tragic, uh, very unfortunate, um, difficult like separation or divorce. Sorry, I have a, a electric blanket on my lap because I'm freezing. Um, but I feel like the the person you go for, go with, go towards, will you guys will have a very magnetic connection. I really don't think you're gonna not know who this person is. Um, when you if you have a choice between two people, I think you're gonna know it's who who's longing for you, who you're gonna be longing for. When you meet your divine masculine or divine feminine, your counterpart, like your heart knows. So I feel like you're going to know who this person is. I don't know who this person is, but you're going to know who this person is. All right, let's get some soul reflections. Love Oracle cards. We have giving a gift, which again is very similar to this card here. Knight of Cups. It's very similar to the, the King of Pentacles. Could be a gift giver. Sorry, in the other videos I spoke to this dog here on me, I... I didn't, I made sure I didn't touch my dog at all when I had to put this shirt on and started doing videos, but I took a break and now I have dog hair all over me. Children, so I feel like children might be a factor in this situation. You guys might um, come together with children already. You might have children together. Uh, we have retreat, time to walk away and find yourself. And then we did, did this did pop up? I can't pretend like it didn't. It said relationship abuse, um, toxic relationship. You should never stay in a toxic relationship. You should never stay with someone who abuses you. I kind of feel like um, this might have something to do with this transformation. Um, in a situation, someone might have come out of a very abusive relationship um, and has kind of had to transform and rebirth themselves um, to this butterfly to be able to take this opportunity. Could be you, could be them. Could be the both of you together. All right, so let's get a couple of Hermit Tarot channeled love messages. Um, with the message cards, this one and the love vibe cards, I feel like um, it is important to note that these could be things that you stated to this person. You will state to this person. They will state to you, have stated to you. Or it could be just a specific phrase that's been stated to you in the past, which really resonates with you. So take what resonates. We'll see what pops out for cancer. I am terrified. Well... And you might be, you might be terrified when this person comes around. I feel like they're going to be like, it's going to be such an intense connection. You're going to be like, this is, I've never felt this way before. I meant what I said. I feel like that could be a good card or a bad card. I would do anything for you. I feel like, uh, I think so. Yes. On the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is not a bad card. Um, I meant what I said, like, I'll keep you safe. I'll keep you protected. You can trust me. I feel like those might be things. I, I meant what I said when I told you I'd always be here for you. I'm always going to be here for you regardless of the decision you make. Things like that. I would do anything for you. So we have 5, 9, and 10. Let's get a couple of love vibe cards from King of Aloha to finish up the read for Cancer. Of course, my song brain always goes to music. I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. Meatloaf. If that um, song is specific to you. I don't care what other people think. I want you. I'm dating someone else right now. I feel like you guys get four. Don't ever put your life on hold for me. And we have a lot in common, can't you see? Um, so like I said, those could be messages that you shared with someone or they share with you. So take them how they resonate or they might not resonate. You can just leave them. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, take care. Thanks for watching.